Hello and welcome to Run BT with Leah Gatenbe and Chris McCrory. Today's episode is a Chinese New Year special. Coming up soon we have a tutorial featuring a few phrases and a couple of things that you can make. Also coming up we have a Run BT special where Runshaw's own Aaron Sale will be taking on skilled students from around college in their own area of expertise. But first of all we've got to look forward to the 10 biggest films of 2011. 2010 was a great year for movies with box office hits such as Harry Potter, Toy Story 3 and Inception. But what films do you want to see this year? This is Ron VT's Top 10 Movie Preview for 2011. Paul is the third and final installment of the Cornetto Trilogy following Shaun of the Dead and Hot Fuzz. Simon Pegg and Nick Frost are back in this hilarious comedy starring as two British comic book geeks travelling across America who witness a car crash outside Area 51 and encounter an alien called Paul with the voice of Seth Rogen. Paul is released on the 18th of February. This is the fourth instalment of the Scream franchise, directed by Sasha legend Wes Craven. With the original cast of the previous three movies returning, Scream 4 is promised to be the scariest movie yet, featuring the iconic Ghostface Killer. Scream 4 is released on the 15th of April. Johnny Depp is back as Captain Jack Sparrow in the fourth movie of the franchise. Jeffrey Rush returns as Captain Barbosa, with the new characters Ian McShane as Blackbeard and Penelope Cruz as Jack Sparrow's love interest. Pirates of the Caribbean 4 is released on the 18th of May. The Hangover 2 is a hilarious sequel of the 2009 hit comedy. Bradley Cooper returns and travels to Bangkok for a wedding. Liam Neeson and Bill Clinton feature with big cameos along with Mike Tyson in the first film. Hangover 2 is released on the 27th. Kung Fu Panda 2, made by DreamWorks Animation, is a sequel to the 2008 animated comedy. The huge all-star cast include Jack Black, Angelina Jolie, Seth Rogen, Dustin Hoffman and Jackie Chan. Everybody was Kung, Fu Kung Fu Panda 2 is released on the 17th of June. Michael Bay directs The Dark of the Moon, the third and final movie to complete the Transformers trilogy. Shia LaBeouf returns, but overnight success Megan Fox from the first two movies is not in the third outing. Transformers 3 is released on the 1st of July. Arguably the biggest movie for 2011 and the 8th and final film in the Harry Potter series, The Death of Hallows Part 2, comes to the cinemas in July. Continuing from 2010's Part 1, Harry, Ron and Hermione return to Hogwarts to destroy for Voldemort. Death of Hallows Part 2 was released on the 15th of July. Cars 2 will be Pixar's 12th movie and stars Owen Wilson as racing car Lightning McQueen who goes on an international adventure to complete the World Grand Prix. Michael Caine also stars. Cars 2 is released on the 22nd of July. From the maker of Iron Man movies, Cowboys and Aliens is based on a graphic novel and stars James Bond's Daniel Craig alongside Indiana Jones' Harrison Ford in the sci-fi western collaboration. Cowboys and Aliens is released on the 12th of August. Brit director Guy Ritchie is back with a Sherlock Holmes sequel this Christmas. Robert Downey Jr. is back as Sherlock Holmes alongside Jude Law as Dr. Watson. Stephen Fry also stars as Sherlock's older brother. Sherlock Holmes is released on the 16th of December. There is a great variety of films being released in this new year that you should definitely look out for. From new Pixar releases to Hollywood blockbusters. In the studio with us today we have Ella Silo, who's one of our media tutors here at Runshow. First of all, Ella, thank you for coming in to help us out today. You're welcome. The Chinese New Year is a very traditional event, and this year is the Year of the Rabbit. Could you tell us a little bit more about it? Yeah, um, and just tradition obviously in Chinese New Year is tomorrow, um, let's say, uh, Thursday the 3rd of February. It runs for three day event, um, and in terms of tradition, it's just, it's just basically like the English New Year, um, New Year of the Lunar Calendar. 
Um, what are some of the traditions of Chinese New Year? Uh, well, obviously, in terms of tradition, um, children get get red pocket money. Um, it's actually like a red pocket with money inside that can spend. Uh, but it's, all, it's obviously usually the el uh, elderly um, and children who actually receive these red packets. Um, also, people tend to wear red clothes as a sign of symbol of luck, good luck and prosperity. Um, and that's yeah, that's just about it really. It's just basically like the English New Year. What do you do personally to celebrate Chinese New Year? Uh, well, personally, we don't really obviously do much because okay. obviously in England we don't. But obviously in Hong Kong, it's very over the top, extravagant. Um, in Hong Kong and China, people actually don't go to work or shops are closed, offices are closed, businesses are closed, and people just obviously celebrate, um, going around to family for dinner, um, and just having a big celebration. Very similar to things New Year, but on a more extravagant level. Now, as you can see, we've brought um, a traditional Chinese calendar in today. Uh, Ella, could you tell us a little bit more about it, please? Yeah, well, this calendar, obviously, uh, is a calendar for 2011. It's very similar to the English calendar, but in this calendar, it tells you um, what characteristics you are according to the 12 animals um, of the Lunar calendar. So, obviously, this year is um, the year of the rabbit, um, and if you are the year of the rabbit, if you were born in the year of the rabbit, um, you are described as... Um, the most fortunate 12 simple signs, so animal signs, it symbolizes gracious, good manners, kindness and sensitivity. And what's also great about this calendar, it actually gives you like a horoscope um, for each month accordingly to help to uh, the animal that you are. That's cool. Do you think you could possibly teach you how to say Happy New Year? Yeah. Well, Happy New Year in Chinese is San Lin Fai La. San Li Fai Lo. And I can also teach you how to say your names, um, Chris okay. and Leah. Leah, you will be called, uh, this is how you pronounce your name in Chinese, it's Lei A. Lei A. And Chris, it's a bit kind of complicated, it's called Typical. Lei C. So Ha. Ha. Lei. Lei. C. C. So ha. Lei. C. Your names in Chinese. Okay, that's great. Okay, thank you very much. Thanks, Ella. Now we have a Rum DT special with Aaron Sale as he takes on students from around the college at their town. Hi, I'm Aaron from Rumshaw TV, and my first challenge is basketball. Let's get ready to rumble! So then, how do you think I did? You're ambitious, but you're not good enough. Thank you very much. Nice game. You're welcome. Hi, my name's Harry Sale, and this is Maths. So then, Chris, I understand that you have a couple of questions for me today. Yes, I do. First one is this. Is that your answer? That is not the answer, no. Best of three, Chris. This is to win it. Right. Expand these brackets. Okay, three, two, one, go! So then Chris, how do you think I did? Fortunately you managed to solve it, so I win the game. Well, better luck next time, eh? Yeah. Thanks again. No worries. 
My name's Sean Tissart, we're Paul and Amber. So then Paul, what would you like me to draw today? Well, I've chosen my favourite singer, Devendra Van Hoppe. Oh, I'll have a good go at it. Yes, you will. One night to be confused, one night to speed up true. We had a promise made for us and then away, both under influence. We had a divine to know what to say. Find us a grace of way to call for hands of above. One night of magic rush, the star to silver touch, one night to push and So then, how do you think I did? It's not bad. Well, thank you very much. Thank you for your time. No worries. Hi, I'm Aaron from Run Short TV, and I'm taking on dancing. How did I do? You look like someone who's danced for the first time. You was alright. I'm just sitting there in your rubbish. Oh. Thanks, Aaron. Well done for a good attempt at some pretty hard challenges. Personally, I think you nearly won the dance challenge. Run Short TV now has a webpage that you can access from the main college website, so please get involved. If you have any event that you like featuring on Run VT, email runshorttv at runshort.ac.uk. Thank you for watching Run VT this week. Keep your eyes on the screens for our next edition of Run BT, the magazine programme made for you, by you.